Hi, I'm Emily and I'm here doing the next video on Be Like Lilies. This one is about finding ways to meet other moms because as moms we tend to uh, turn inward sometimes, especially if we have anxiety situations going on, we'll tend to get you know pretty protective and close in on just us and the baby or us and the kids staying in the home and it gets kind of fearful about going outside and, and getting out and meeting other people but that's something that we really need to try to power through and and do so that you can have some of those bonds with other mothers and be able to share with them and learn from them and help each other out in so many different powerful ways so my name is Emily. I'm not a medical expert. I am just a mom who's been experiencing pregnancy and postpartum anxiety over the course of having five kids and I want to share some of my experiences with you. The first way that we met other parents, uh, apart from people that we already knew that had children before we did, um, one of the first places was with our birthing class. You know if you take a birthing class you know get to know some of those other moms and become friends with them you you know you could end up having some of those relationships for a really long time another one was uh, La Leche League I'm a strong supporter of breastfeeding and I really think that I, I want moms to have um, ample opportunity in education at learning how to make breastfeeding work if that's what they are drawn to do for their family I wouldn't want moms to feel pressured into not breastfeeding if breastfeeding is what they want to do and the Leche League is a really phenomenal place for that. It's where I've gained pretty much all of my breastfeeding education and I am pretty sure that if I went to a meeting today I would learn something new. Um, so I, I strongly encourage you to go to the Leche League and you know you take your baby you take your kids you're free to feed yourself and feed your baby anytime and uh, and you just listen to what's going on share concerns or questions if you have anything and um, and you you take what works for you and you leave the rest there may be some people doing things that are not right for your family and that's totally okay nobody says you have to do everything that everyone does but it is a great place to get to meet other moms. Another great free opportunity could be going to the library and going to story time with your baby. Um, you know, some libraries offer baby story time and toddler and older, younger kid, like three, four age. You know, find out when those happen at your local library and plan to get there a little early, get to meet some other moms and see how that goes. Um, if anything, you got out and you got to the library, maybe you can find a book. So another uh, opportunity could be with a prayer group or a Bible study or a book study kind of thing that might be happening through your church. Um, you know, and if you, if you don't see something in the bulletin after a couple of weeks, m maybe just randomly ask one of the other moms. You know, it's going to be totally okay if you bump into another mom with kids. Or if you see another mom in the back of the church or in the cry room or something and after after mass you know you just kind of talk to them and say hey do, do you know if there's a, a mom's group with this church or in town you know maybe it's not that exact parish maybe another parish has a more active mom's group um, you know and if there isn't one be the brave one and start a group you know talk to somebody in the office about putting a notice in the bulletin that just says moms support other moms want to meet up and throw out a time um, you know and see what happens but the the Catholic mom organizations that I've gotten involved with has been a huge support to our family in a, in a variety of ways and so that's a great place to meet other other friends other moms Another one could be um, if you hear about a book club happening, you know, simply ask, can I be part of, your, part of the book club? You know, if someone talks about it and you want to be involved, ask. Um, another one could be a, a game group. You know, I heard people talking about Bunko and, and for quite a while I just thought, I'm not in a Bunko group. Maybe they don't like me enough to ask me to Bunko. Or with the book club I heard people talking about book club and I thought I'm not in book club 
maybe they don't like me and that's why I'm not in book club until I actually said to someone hey can I come to the book club is that a private thing because they were talking about it publicly of course it's not private um, and they said yes come come be a part of it you know but it just it, it just took me saying something and sometimes that's all it takes um, you know, and with the Bunko groups, uh, once I got invited to be a substitute to a club several times, eventually I got asked, invited to be a part of one group, you know, in another group, I'm still a substitute on it and it's fabulous, you know, it's still a great way to meet other moms and that's the, that's the main point here. Um, beyond that, you know, we're, uh, since we're talking about, you know, I really want to share that we can heal anxiety through a mind, body, soul kind of connection. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've got body things with the Lechi League and birthing class. We have, um, soul, uh, healing through prayer groups. Um, you know, and so there's also, uh, fitness opportunities that you could meet other moms. If you, um, have an area that, uh, a location that has some classes, maybe specifically designed for moms, you could do that. Locally, we have a Fit for Mom organization, and they have franchises nationwide, but it's, it's a great group that is supportive of moms and motherhood and fitness and getting you fit and keeping your families fit, and, and it's actively engaged with your child. You know, you're singing and dancing and blowing bubbles at them and all kinds of things. Um, you know, so those are, those are some various ways that we have been able to meet some other people. Um, like I said, sometimes doing something like finding a married couples group would have to be maybe a self-driven kind of thing. You know, um, we're a part of a, a group, but that was a, that was a self-driven thing that a few moms got together and they said, we want to make married couples groups. And they put notices in all the bulletins in town and set a time to meet and people put their names together and they lump some people together and you know groups have mixed and matched and whatever but you know it's just a way to get things started but you may have to be part of the driving force with that um, <clears throat> and a couple of things that I personally haven't done but are out there is one called Moms Club and I've known other people that have met through Moms Club that's a um, I think a nationwide uh, group but it's, uh, you know, and it's basically the same. It's just like there are local chapters of moms that meet. That's it, you know. Um, and so you can sign up to Moms Club and, and try to find out where your local chapter is and, and get to meet other moms. Another one is MOPS. It's Moms of Preschoolers. And this is something that, you know, it, it may meet at various different churches and you don't have to be a member of that church. You don't even have to have a preschooler. That was something that I thought was keeping me out of it. <clears throat> Especially in the early years, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to be a part of that group until my kid is four years old. I'll never be there, you know, because when the when they're babies, you think that's just so far away. And I'm like, I'm not waiting four years to go to that. Um, but I found out later, like, you don't have to have a preschooler. You can go with a baby. You just, just go. Just find out. Just sign up. You know, find out where these things are and try them out. Um, I've seen a few things online where some people went to one or another group and maybe are in a small town and they're small town, tight knit kind of people that weren't very nice to you. <coughs> Excuse me. And my answer to that is keep going. Keep going. If people are going to be snippy at you, it is no reflection on you. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's hard. You know, it's it's up to us about how we're going to have that affect us. But if they're advertising a public event, if it's something like La Leche League or a prayer group or story time, you know, one of these public kind of events open to anyone, keep going. Because one of these days, they're either going to loosen their edge and actually realize that you're not going to give up and you're going to keep coming. Or... What if another new mom comes and you quit because other people decided to not act in a loving and charitable way? Well, then there's another new person there subjected to the unloving, uncharitable kind of people. But if you're there and someone else new comes, you can be the one to open your arms to them and welcome them in and help them out. So sometimes, you know, that can be what drives us to keep going, even if it's not 
a hundred percent pleasant opportunity. Um, you know, and in the meantime, you got out there, mom, you got out there, you met somebody, you experienced it, you did it with your kids and you did it. And a lot of times when we're sitting at home with anxiety, that's all that matters is that we can prove to ourselves that we can get out there and do something and it'll all be okay. So if you're sitting alone by yourself, you think you need a, a fresh start, find some new moms. Here's been a list of uh, opportunities that you can go and look up and try out. And you know, sometimes it could even be meeting a stranger in the grocery store. I'm willing to talk to strangers. I do it a lot, actually. I don't always, you know, carry my card and say, hey, here's my number, but I, I'm willing to talk to strangers too. So, um, you know, try it out. Get out there and meet some other moms. Make some friends. I'll see you soon.